Okay, come on, Link. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. You know those games growing up that you have a lot of fun with and you remember them fondly, but at the same time, it's like, you're like, why didn't I keep playing that game? Then you pick it up and you finally get a chance to play it. And then all the stuff that drove you crazy about it comes back to haunt you. If only there was some way I could share how I feel about certain games with other people. Like this one. Wind Waker. One of the many games I've been wanting to play for forever. I remember borrowing it from a friend back in high school. When I heard it was being re-released on the Wii U, I knew I had to get it and play the game again. Quite a blast. But does it hold up as well as I remember it? Well, for starters, the music is the same but I guess that is what you get for playing a remake. The music will stay the same for the most part. Even the character models are the same. While I would expect them to have updated that, like they did with Ocarina of Time on the 3DS, it just kept it the same. Oh, you made it HD? I guess that's okay then. If you want to be like all those other companies that focus on pretty HD graphics that are like crack for your eyes. Speaking of crack, you know what got me cracking? The isolation. Now I know how Tom Hanks felt in the movie Castaway. You think you're going on a fun trip with mom and dad to Disney World, but you have never been more wrong. You get out on the open road and straight ahead ocean. You look to the left, ocean. You look to the right, ocean. Even behind you where you thought there would be at least a little bit of land, there's ocean. Hope you brought a volleyball because it'll be a long and lonely trip. Oh, what's that you say? They have a bunch of islands out on the ocean? Yeah, well, they are too far apart. You see them off in the distance getting bigger as you get closer, but that ain't soon enough. You can get things that help you travel faster, but you don't get them soon enough. When you start sailing in the game, you want to go off and explore, but nope. The game says, you ain't ready for that. And why not go beat up low-level enemies for a little while longer? The combat is okay, I guess. Like most 3D Zelda games, it has Z-targeting, which lets you lock on your enemies. Sure, one-on-one -on -one isn't bad, but when you're fighting a horde and you Z-target one, as soon as you kill him, Link starts acting like everything is fine and just stands there like an idiot. At least Ocarina would automatically move from enemy to enemy as you killed them. The level design could use improving as well. For all you do, you think you're doing fine and BAM! You're back in the beginning and have to backtrack your butt back to where you were. Sure, they give you teleporting pots, but those are far and few between. On top of that, the enemies are so stupid in this game. I've watched who knows how many go walking off a cliff. When you finally can go and explore and do whatever, the game is already halfway over. It's like Nintendo ran out of ideas. I mean, seriously. Faces of Evil had more levels than this. That was a poor man's game. Great! I'll grab my stuff! At least Link in that game has said actual words. This one all you hear him say is a cat impression. I think he might have been drinking too much salt water. Uh, even with all the problems with the game, I gotta give it credit. It still is very much what I remember. Flaws and all. If I had to give it a rank, I would rank it 8 out of 10 angry fanboys. Ha 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 ha